Hey guys, Nick here. Today we're going to walk through how you can convert a string to a number. So to get started, we're going to be working with the following table. So in this table, we have a column that has a group, and then the column next to it shows the weight assigned to each group. You can tell this weight column is a string by the S that's in the top left corner where the column header is. So that S designates that this is a string. You can also see that this is a string by clicking over here on the specs column and if you go over to the column type next to the column name you can see here that weight is set to a string. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the string and we're going to convert it into a number. So let's get started. So the first step is to go over to our node repository over on the left hand side and in this box type it string two and you'll see the following uh, set of nodes you can work with. You're going to grab this string to number node that's highlighted over here. You're going to drag and drop it into your workflow. So there's two ways you can go about connecting this. Um, when you have the table that you want to join to selected, you can double click on the string to number and it automatically drops into the workflow connected. Or what you can do is you can take the string to number, drop it on your workflow, keep it selected, then select the table you want to are connected to, and then hit Control L. So that's a shortcut to connecting them as well. So you can see that the string to number is in yellow. Uh, it means it's configured uh, by default. That's how this node typically sets up. But we're going to double click into it to configure it ourselves. So in this configuration menu, you'll see two boxes. You'll see a red box and a green box. The red is the exclude, and then the green is the include. So what we're doing here is we're going to tell Nime which columns we want to include in the configuration of this node and which columns we want to exclude. So we know that the group we do not want converted to a number. It's not actually, be, it wouldn't be able to convert to a number. It would show as a missing value because it's not actually a number in string form. It's actual text. So we'll move that group over to the exclude side, either by double clicking on the group uh, name or by clicking it and then hitting the left arrow over here. So now what we've got going on here is we've got the group column is in the excluded section, so it won't be converted to a number while the weight column is in the include section so it will be com so it will be converted to a number uh, the next option you have up above here is you can select the number type you want to convert be it a double an integer or a long we're just going to go with a double and then you have these other two options whether you want a thousand separator in the number and whether you want to change the decimal separator so the decimal separator is defaulted to a period I know in European countries the decimal separator is designated by a comma so you can make that change if you want to but we'll leave it as is. So now that we've got our node configured we can simply hit apply hit OK and then execute the node. To execute the node you either right click and hit execute or you can have the node selected as it is here and hit the F7 key. That's a shortcut. So we're going to right click we're going to hit execute and now you can see the node is executed because it's in the green status. So finally to see the results of our executed string to number node, we can right click on the node and go all the way down here to the transformed input option. So this will let us see the uh, columns that we selected converted from a string to a number. So we'll select transformed input and now I'll zoom in for you guys so it's easier to see. So I'm going to increase the font size to 22 and then I'll increase the row height to 32 so this makes it easier to see the results of our node so now you can see our weight column instead of having that little s in the top hand in the top left hand corner of the column header it has a d for double and now you can go to the specs column or the specs tab excuse me and now you can look at the weight column and you'll see that the column type is now a number, specifically a double. So we've successfully converted our string to a number in the Nime Analytics platform. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments. If you have any videos you want to see next, let me know in the comments as well. Otherwise, stay tuned for the next video where we'll walk through how to convert 
a number to a string value um, so stay tuned for that video and don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share this video with anybody who might find it useful otherwise I'll catch you guys on the next video